Hello children. Today we are out here looking for insects, but we're not actively searching. Instead, we're out here with a very bright light attached to this uh, white poster board. And this is actually to attract insects to land on here. And we're going to see just how many cool things we can find. We're just in my backyard right now, but who knows? There could be some pretty cool stuff flying to here, so let's see. This lifer small mosis moth right here was a great way to start the night. At first glance, it looks like just like any other smallish brown moth that's unidentifiable. But the small mosis moth actually has a pretty interesting pattern of like little squiggles and zigzag lines throughout the forewings with the distinctive kind of bullseye shape in the middle of each forewing. It's always fun to see larger sized moths coming to a light. This little insect right here is a kind of dirt colored seed bug called Pseudopachybrachius vinctus. This species is the most common member of its genus here in Florida and can be easily recognized by the reddish coloration on the front legs. Much like the last bug, this right here is also a kind of dirt colored seed bug. However, this one's about twice as large and is a different species called Zophora burmeisteri. Also much like the last one, this one is easily recognizable by the leg patterning with all the legs being pale, whitish in coloration, except for the back legs having a black ring around them. The poster is absolutely full of leaf hoppers and flies right now. Like, check out this little mosquito. And also, some really common species of leaf hopper, like Graminella villica. There's a couple more Graminella villica. There's a Planocephalus, a bunch of leaf hoppers over here that I can't even identify right now because they're all pretty far away. This was my first time ever seeing any leaf hopper in the genus Valclutha. These are oddly elongated for leaf hoppers. This individual seemed to have a deformed wing, which is why it was walking around so awkwardly on the poster board. While it might appear entirely dull, really close look at this one shows that it has some bright blue and orange coloration on it. This little guy right here is a tiny little spittle bug called Clastoptera corsi, the second part of the scientific name referring to the fact that these are often found around oak trees, or members of the genus Quercus. Clastoptera in general are tiny, really camouflaged bugs, but this one stuck out against the poster board. This beauty right here was my lifer, Sanctanus fasciatus, an incredible looking leafhopper that doesn't look like anything I'd ever seen before with those beautifully intricate patterns on the wings, and those bright red eyes. This didn't even look like any leafhopper I'd ever seen in photos before, and I honestly didn't even recognize it in the field at first. Finding something I don't recognize at all, and then having to research it to try and find out what species it is, especially in small-scale insects like leafhoppers, is such a cool feeling. And it's especially satisfying when you get it to a species ID, like in the case of this individual. While not on the poster board itself, this wolf spider right here was on the ground very close to the light sheet, probably because its prey, small insects, were also being attracted to the light. A lot of times, other predators of small insects like lizards and frogs will also be attracted to light sheets. This right here is an absolutely beautiful green lacewing, and a relatively large individual. Green lacewings are an entire family of insects, and identifying them is an absolute nightmare. It is just difficult. Unfortunately, I was unable to identify this one to species. However, that doesn't stop green lacewings from being some of the most interesting insects. It might not look like it. The larvae of green lacewings are wingless, predatory insects with massive jaws, blend in into the environment by carrying garbage like lichens, dust, and even dead insects on their back. My favorite find of the night, though, was this lifer, Florida beetle cockroach, a dare I say beautiful cockroach species that is almost restricted to southern Florida. Even as full-grown adults like this individual, this species is very tiny, especially for a cockroach, and can be easily mistaken as a beetle. In fact, with the bright orange coloration on the body, it looks very much like a small ladybug, until you walk up to it and get a closer look at it. This species is probably very common in southern Florida, however, it is very rarely seen due to its small size and habit of living near the top of trees and bushes. This amazing cockroach was the perfect end to this night. 